Welcome to a brand new series of ground force into the sunny North London suburb of Wood Green. We're here at the request of Zeb Lalji to surprise her other half, Jay, who's a mad, keen, keen cricket fan and wants to sit in his garden and listen to the cricket on the radio in a kind of tropical jungle. Oh, well, they've arrived. Brand new truck. Things must be looking up. The problem with this garden is it's very long and thin, and at the bottom are two gas holders. Well, I hope I've designed something that'll use those as bits of sculpture and give Jay somewhere to retire. Doors open. Hello. Hello. Well, you must be Zeb. I am. Good nice morning. Nice to see you. Good morning. Blimey. <laughs> They're big, aren't they? It was very wise of you to pick your garden so that it's plumb in the middle of them because it's nice and formal. That's why you... we bought the garden. Because you like the gasometers. <laughs> Absolutely. Now look, <laughs> tell me what he wants, this chap of yours. I think what he'd like is a tropical garden. You know it's the middle of April, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> right. And because it's between the gasometers, I wanted to shoot it down and make it look fairly straight with those two on either side. So I've done this tapering lawn. I've got a bit of deck there, which is going to pick up the colour on the house wall. OK. And then at the end, an area of decking there, surrounded by bamboo screening. Now, this bamboo feel is picked up because what I'm going to have is clumps of big, thick, four-inch bamboo poles sticking up down either side of the garden. And this thing on the left, it looks like a bit of wonky guttering. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a bamboo watercourse. It, we're going to oh, use brilliant. the bamboo halved, like, <laughs> you like it, like guttering. That's great. <laughs> uh, dripping into a little round thing, which is on that deck there, a little round reservoir. Oh, excellent. And the fence as well, painted blue. So the whole thing is blue terracotta, the heat of the jungle, on an April day in wood green. OK, gang, let's clear this book out. With £1,500 to spend and the application of plenty of graft, this garden won't know what's in it. What I do need to do is to give you a look at this garden, because you haven't seen it yet. There's the house with the terrace. There's an old concrete path going right down this side and across there, which we'll have to get rid of. There's a very nice pear tree, which I want to keep, though I might have to slightly lift the crown. That means take up these lower branches to let us get underneath. The lawn is going to come right around here. Lawn. Um, we've got to get rid of this rubbish, but there's a huge compost heap at the back. Oh, little reading matter. Oh, yuck. Now, this is where Jay's sitting area is going to be. There's going to be a deck around here where Charlotte is at the moment de stacking the bonfire. Obviously, a deck. Oh, perhaps could use the timber. No, I don't Not. think so. Um, the old elderberry here, I think we'll get rid of. This I want to paint blue. This is his deck. There's the bamboo screening down either side, and the borders shoot off down that way. And We've got two tiny children to deal with in this garden as well, so we've got to be careful what we use. And already it's five past ten. You haven't had a donut yet. I haven't got time for donuts. <laughs> Before we can start gardening, we've got to fill the skip that's out the front with all the rubbish that's out the back. How are you? Oh, kiss, kiss. Oh, oh, very kind. Well, you're in my lounge, you know, once a week. So I'm, yeah, I'm in her garden now. Oh, it's Sorry, I was standing on her tree. So, is it your fault that we're here? I'm afraid so. <laughs> I'm afraid so. I've given you quite a challenge. Yeah, I? I'll speak to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Can I go and give Tommy a hug? You can go and give Tommy a hug. Yeah, but before you do, I've got to go to work. Oh, God. I've got to take all the kids to the... Oh, they have to go to yeah, their various venues, they do they? do, I'm afraid. Look at this poor little thing here. Chicken pox. <laughs> Chicken pox. <laughs> oh. I remember having that. He lied. Yeah. Not too long ago, to remember. <laughs> where have you been? Oh, I can Where see where you've been. Are you showing off again? No, it's not that heavy. It's light, it's right? How incredible. Nice though, isn't it? gorgeous. Frostproof? Oh, yes. Ish. Ish, I've got to ask <laughs> I'm that not one. I'm going to get this inside <laughs> in winter. It's, it's a north, tropical garden. It's North London, it won't freeze. Oh. It's danger of life and limb on here. Oh, wizard. Oh, great, that's exactly what I wanted. And that's... So you split it so I can get my water course and all I have to do is knock these things out. Yeah, take those out, which I've got the tool for. Excellent. Shall we take them off? Bamboo of this proportion is obtained by mail order. Air mail would be an advantage here. It could be flown into the garden rather than brought through the house, weather permitting. Stop going for a BAFTA and come in here. You don't have to work out there. I ordered sunshine and Mediterranean sunshine. They'd sold out. We must have been really 
really bad in our last lives, wasn't we? <laughs> to get this kind of weather every time we go out with. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Showers were forecast and we're prepared for anything, nearly. But even if it's pizzaing down, Will presses on regardless. The sun's come out now, come under here. Don't you get that on the blue? I can see you in the glass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie wants still more split bamboo for the aqueduct. Do it. That's it. I'm doing the machete knife and mm -hmm. split it and let it follow the natural grain. Right, I thought you'd have a circular saw or something like that. No, it's already to make it too, too even. Isn't this incredible? I've left somebody decorating my lounge. <laughs> <laughs> I've come to paint for ground force. Free. <laughs> um, it's half past three. We're getting most of the fence painted now. They're about halfway down the garden with that. Well, maybe two thirds. Shed needs another coat. Tom is framing out on his bit of deck down there. As yet, we haven't done anything to the ground, but it's been so muddy. I'm just anxious to keep off it and hope it doesn't get too wet. Though I think it might be a vain hope. Excuse me. It must get on while the sun's still shining. Magic. This is an exercise on making a very long, very thin garden look even longer and thinner. I mean, you can't always divide it into rooms. It's great fun, though. The tapering lawn is bisected by the angled deck. Its purpose? To further separate the pavilion at the far end for greater perceived privacy. The sump tank for the water feature will also be concealed under it, provided Tommy gets the deck built. Home. We can go home it's as soon as. 25 to 6! Look, as soon as I finish that last half fence panel, uh -huh. you don't even have to finish your hole. You keep digging your hole till I finish my fence panel, okay. and then we can all go home. Don't try this at home, not when it's hailing. That's fine, that's brill. You've done well, haven't you? Fine, just just fine in a day like today. Do you like my paintwork? Well, I think it's lovely. Well, yours is lovely too. <laughs> Where's the morning? Good, everybody? well, this is sunshine. Look at this. Right, breezy. Oh, my goodness. Ice. Frost. <laughs> yes. And I think, although the sun's shining, they promise worse today. Everybody to their posts. What's Jean doing this morning? Paint a bit of trellis painting, if you oh. like. <laughs> I think I'll tell Alan for the next job to buy these ready painted. I'm sure the budget can run to it. Hello, Alan. Good morning. Uh, Alan, look oh, sorry. That's a mucky okay. end. <laughs> <laughs> so you're coming to the pond pump? Yes, first? yeah, the, 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 the water feature. Yeah. Have you got all day? Yes. The cable run from inside the kitchen is longer than the wire on Charlie's pump. He'll put a safe waterproof electrical connection outside. This is what's called an auger. <laughs> it doesn't auger well. It does auger very well, except on stony soil. What I'm doing is taking out 
vertical holes about a foot deep to drop these bamboos into and they'll support the little water course that runs right the way through if I ever get down a foot deep in this hole. This looks a bit different. Yeah. Where's all the soil then? All, all the mud? It's all been washed off especially for you. What a nice one. Washed turf is a bit more pricey than the usual muddy stuff, but it's lighter to handle, cleaner to take through the house when we're ready for it, and all the soil gets to go back on the fields, so it's environmentally better too. I don't know about you, but I'm beginning to panic. Yesterday, when you looked over there, you could see the weather coming. Well, the wind swung round. It's now coming from over there. The clouds are on their way. I'm a bit concerned. It's 20 minutes to 12. So we've actually done quite well to stay dry so far. Uh, but I'm now starting to cut corners. I think we're a bit short on plants. So where the water course is, I'm going to bark it entirely under there and use one or two specimens so it really shows off the bamboo. Then the turf comes down here. I'm trying to keep everybody off this by walking on planks now so it doesn't get muddy because we've managed to fluff up that soil a bit. Charlie's efforts at freshening up the soil before it's turfed will all be wasted should anybody trample on it again. I'm watching. You're doing all right, just. But I'm watching. If you decide to use this bamboo yourself, Wear a pair of gloves. There's lots of little tiny splinters around the top and I discovered to my cost that they slide into fingers very easily. Don't like gardening gloves, but I like splinters even worse. Oh, what I'm doing, by the way, these are my organ pipes, you know, little poop, 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 kind of, with a few little biggish pebbles and one or two telling plants among them. Classy garden on a budget. Somewhere similar. You can see how hard the frost was last night. It's burnt the edges of the leaves. Looks lovely, but I bought them to go in those two pots there. As you were, really, isn't it? She's not having this one for a pot. I mean, you can be henpecked just so much, can't you? difference to this awesome tree already. <laughs> You're right, Jane. Lovely. It's looking absolutely beautiful. More like a garden now and less like a waste well, ground. Well, the thing is, if you choose your plants quite carefully, you can get away with relatively few. I mean, look at the it's foliage like of that you on in this yes. with that blue behind it. You've got yellow, Matching green, the May daisies, yellow there. Wondrous. May daisies, you call them? Yes. Leopard's bane. I Veronica. know they're leopard's yeah. bane, but. May daisies, nice. Well, they do bloom in May, of course. Okay. Earlier up here, where I live, in May. Fine. Do you know, this is a first for me. What, love? Well, apart from Charlie, yeah. I've never worked with a gardener before on one of these. You're the first proper gardener we've had. They won't there. believe a word of it in Derbyshire. <laughs> <laughs> I have big, as big weeds as anybody else, but I love plants. Ah, but you grow them well, though. I love plants. Tom is jigsawing out the hole in the deck above the water feature sump tank. Through it. I haven't. No, you I haven't. Better not have sunshine. Oh, that was close. Okay. Above the tank, the collecting pot fits, and then the water will be pumped up the garden to flow back down the bamboo aqueduct. Oh. 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 Oh, 
finished now, Alan. Oh, the deck? The deck's finished. You can right. paint it now. Paint it now it doesn't get rained on. Blech. Blech. Can't we just leave it brown? Leave it brown. Quick decision, the deck's staying unpainted. It's important to sweep indecision away, I say, and as Tommy and Will arrange the bamboo curtain that conceals the way to the shed, remember that when faced with life's little challenges, dither ye not, but make your flipping mind up. Right, is it all straightforward? Yes, yeah, it's just a matter of uh, swishing on from inside and then uh, just uh, setting the, the, the button here. Right, thanks very much. Pleasure. See you again. Yeah, and best right. of luck. Thank you. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. It's half past two. I reckon we've probably got about three hours before it comes back at half past five. Um, at least this end of the garden is beginning to look a bit more like garden. I've got my organ pipes in, which are looking how I hope they would. We now have all this water feature to sort out. Three hours. They haven't laid any planks on that deck down the bottom there. They're at the moment rigging up the bamboo screen supports on either side, so at least it looks a bit more like a privatised sitting area. But three hours and those clouds are threatening by the minute. Lucky so far, but uh, cross your fingers, will you? So they've put the big fatsias in tubs, planted you some beautiful birch trees. They're going to be beautiful. Give you the most dappled shade. They've planted bamboo <laughs> sticks and bamboos. They've got your clematis climbing through that awful apple tree. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. So really, it's just a water feature, the top decking and the um, turf. The cell divisions in the bamboo are cut to make mini waterfalls and now it's time to test it. Don't do this to me. No, no, no. Don't smile so smugly, you... Another canful. I know what to do. We need to cut them out more, Alan. If I cut them out further down, then it takes longer to back up. Who filled it with water? <laughs> Right, I'm putting a drip line underneath so it the lip. Up. Well, so it doesn't run like yeah, that. It yeah. comes and it drops straight, straight down. down. Can I lower it now then? No, because I need to put a bit more on there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Can I put it down? Yep. At last, some decking at the top end and some pebbles to set off the planting. Cuts down on the weeding too. Philostachys aurea. They have terribly complicated names, bamboos. But uh, if you plant them in the garden, make sure you get a clump former, not one that's hugely invasive and rampant, which will eat you out of house and home. But they're wonderful for planting in a pot. And this lovely egg cup pot, massive thing, was £69. Pricey for a pot, but a lovely bit of garden sculpture. And when I manage to get this undone, it should look a treat. Jay's Instant Jungle. So it's a sprinkling of this over the surface, isn't it? Yeah. Because this special down. turf, which is mainly root rather than soil, it needs a bit of food underneath it, they say. Do the manufacturers of that their turf? Thank goodness for Tommy's fast, if noisy, turf laying technique. We've under an hour to lay a hundred feet of grass. <laughs> no, you haven't. There's two bags of bark to go down up here. Thank you. Me. Get rid of broom. Ooh. Oh. Breathe in, guys. You breathe in. Yeah, your tummy sticks out a bit too far. I don't know if see it.
<laughs> in Spanish, all rather too emotional. <laughs> oh Try to go for a walk. <laughs> go for a walk. <laughs> you show him. <laughs> this is fantastic. Go. Go on. It's there. <laughs> This is my long cricket pitch. <laughs> Weed patch to cricket pitch, well, sort of. And on the deck, a deck chair and radio hat to listen to the cricket commentary. There's a Caribbean feel to the planting and the gentle stream in the bamboo aqueduct matches the pace of play at Lord's on a quiet day. The bamboo crops up again, framing plants strategically placed against the blue fence. Pebbles and pots completing the tropical picture. <laughs> this is the most fabulous team I've ever had the privilege to work with. Sure. <laughs> Such sure. Sure. Jean is the best gardener we've ever worked with on any of our shoes. <laughs> even, even if she was a damn nuisance. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much. Cheers, Cheers everybody. Cheers, Cheers to everybody. To you. Here's very to you and your, and your bit of jungling wood Fantastic green. Fantastic surprise I've ever had. <laughs> Not Cheers. At all. Oh, Cheers. I like this kind of party. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Thank you very much, Jean. From the Ground Force team in Wood Green, in the jungle. Till next time. Cheers. Bye bye. Cheers. Hello, everybody. You've got young to get started. It's the middle of everything, isn't it? Yeah. It's Under the shadow of the gas holders, Brian Lara has reached his 100 in 143 balls with his 12th force.